Thank you. Uh, so for the first hour, uh, we will have uh, so that agenda, so we go, we're going to have like a quick program introduction. I would like to make it like very fast, uh, concise. Then I would like to introduce our excellent, excellent mentors. And thank you so much for being here today. Uh, then uh, we would like to introduce our startups. Uh, we go over the tools that we're going to be using in this program. And the tool is my, uh, Microsoft uh, Teams. Uh, I know that you're already trying it a little bit. So tell me how you like it. And then we're going to go into the breakout sessions, one-on-one uh, -on -one mentoring sessions. They are actually not one-on-one, -on -one, they are two-on-one -on -one because in each session we will have two mentors and one team. A little bit later about it. Uh, about more, uh, more about it a little bit later. Uh, why do, did we create the CryptoChicks Hatchery? Uh, when we started our CryptoChicks about three years ago, uh, we faced the problem that there's no there was no incubation programs that would fit us perfectly because first of all we didn't know anything about doing a business second we we didn't know um you know where to go and when we tried to go into some programs we did not qualify be, uh, because we, it was too early in our stage uh, so we decided to create our own program that is for early, early startup, for the pre-incubation, for pre-seed ones, and help them to raise their business off the ground. And the fact is that startups are failing. Lots of them are failing. Uh, so we started looking into this. Uh, even though we are a nonprofit, uh, we volunteer organization, uh, we've been profitable from the day one. And we stay alive even in the COVID. And uh, so uh, we had this experience and we wanted to uh, share it with our startups and help other blockchain startups. So we we welcome uh, women, uh, women led startups. We welcome actually men led startups as well. Uh, right now, uh, everything that related to blockchain and AI would like to help these companies. Uh, so what the program that we developed actually is uh, tackling the main reasons why startups are failing. And these are the main reasons why they're failing. So first, the, 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 and first and foremost the reason is that there's no market need for the product. Um, when we have this business idea, excellent. It seems that we... Um, it, everybody needs it, right? But but then, uh, yeah, once we put lots and lots of money and time into it, we understand that actually, no, not everybody needs it. And sometimes it's even nobody needs it. And therefore, this is the major um, area while startup fails. So the other ones you also see on the screen, they run out of cash, not the right team, outcompeted, pricing issues, user-unfriendly product, no business model, poor marketing. So these are the uh, main reasons. So what in our program, what we teach and what we do and what we help with. So first of all, we'll, we uh, help to test your product on the market first, even before you put lots and lots of money, even like little money into it. Uh, we also do it the way that you will not spend a fortune testing it uh, because we we did the work for you. For example, we developed already a blockchain MVP that you can use and reuse. Uh, and actually built an MVP uh, very easy and fast. Uh, and then uh, about the own team, of course, we give you the knowledge of what teams, uh, what members need to be on a team. We went through it ourselves too. Uh, business model, of course, then competitive advantage, uh, pricing cost issues, poor marketing. So we address all of this uh, items uh, in our uh, workshops that we're giving. And we also lead our startups through a, a series of the milestones that they need to reach. And uh, so we named our uh, milestones so they would be in line with our name, CryptoChicks Hatchery. So what we do, uh, we... Um, 
organize our program the way that uh, startups can go through their milestones actually on their own time. Before that, we were bound to the certain dates, but we understand that every startup is different, that you have a different timing. We allow you to actually go through uh, this program on your own pace because we package each uh, workshop as a course and you just go through the course, you go through the assignments, you complete assignments, and uh, therefore you then complete the milestones and the whole program. Uh, if you if it takes you five years to complete the program, it's okay, right? So we're there for you, we're going to be helping you and um, how we do it. Uh, again, so this is the program, the, the going through uh, milestones, and these are the, all the workshops that we will be giving. And not only workshops, we also will be having a mentoring sessions like this one today. We're going to be starting it at 12 uh, Eastern time, a cross mentoring session when startups can talk to mentors one on one. Uh, and there, there will be three more sessions in this year and then next year as well. And the workshops, uh, uh, we are right now trying to settle the schedule uh, that to fit the majority of people that are joined our high tree. Uh, so we will be giving 20 workshops uh, throughout the year uh, on biweekly on Thursdays at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. So um, founders, our startups, please let me know if this time doesn't work for you because we're trying to work out the best time. If it doesn't work for you, still you can complete it because we will be packaging it as a course. So you can um, complete it uh, a week later after this workshop is uh, delivered on online. Uh, also, of course, we provide mentorship and mentorship is not only from us, but also mentorship from people who already build businesses who are in this uh, 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 already for some time, uh, who can give you the hints, the knowledge to share the ex their experience, uh, and you will be able to schedule one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings uh, with your assigned mentors and meet them regularly as you agreed with them. Uh, about the workshop, our next upcoming workshop will be already this Thursday, September 24, and we will be telling about how to raise the capital successfully. Uh, please join. This is an excellent, excellent material that we will be giving you. Uh, we will go through all the stages of the all the startup stages. Uh, about we're going to tell all about different sources of funding, about different types of investors, and also we're going to give you actually the strategy on how to work with the investor. So stay tuned and join us uh, this upcoming Thursday. Uh, all workshops are going to um, go through, um, going to be published at the CryptoChicksHatchery.com and we'll be holding it in the Microsoft Teams as the, this meeting today. Uh, I'm just going to uh, quickly show you where, what, what you can find where on the website. Um, so for example, yeah, so here are our excellent mentors. We will get to it a little bit later. Our projects, the one that the startups, uh, our um, sponsors. So this is the uh, courses and practical assignment, uh, the workshops that we will be uh, given. And they, as I said, they will be packaged as the course. So basically you, you're gonna go and take the course um, go through the modules and complete assignments. And we will see and we will verify your assignment and you receive a points for each course, which then going to go towards your um, funding pot, right? So because uh, the number of points you received uh, will be correlated to uh, how we fund you actually at the end of the program. Uh, yeah, so uh, please go ahead, check out the cryptochickshatchery.com and uh, uh, we can go from uh, there. All right. Um, and all the meetings will be held in Microsoft Teams. Uh, we're going to be looking at this tool a bit later because I know that you all um, curious. Oh, okay, wrong, wrong button. Just a second. There. All right. 
Uh, and at the, the end result, uh, what our startups uh, will be getting uh, solid practical knowledge on how to build a business, minimal viable product or prototype, uh, their name and logo design, uh, website and social media. So they will have uh, online presence. Uh, they will have registered business. They will have uh, they, <clears throat> their market tested business model. So uh, this is the, the purpose of our Hachi is to market test uh, your um, your startup uh, market response results, of course, and the investor pitch. So this is the uh, what you will get at the end of the Hachi. Uh, and we also given much more. Uh, we are inviting our crypto chicks. Um, partners who uh, our founders become our partners so we invite them to all uh, to be featured at all our websites and events uh, we also invite them to speak at all our events and also partner events so um, actually next week one of our, our team they will be featured in Toronto Public Library event um, and uh, so so they even get in you know some of the speaking engagement actually get in um, uh, honorariums. So uh, I think it's a, it's a very cool um, feature that we're given as well. Uh, and of course, we have partners and uh, our CryptoChicks Hatchery uh, participants, they get um, sometimes free access, sometimes discounted access, and sometimes when uh, there is the, this, you know, huge conferences in blockchain that uh, it's hard to get in, uh, we can get them in into this conference. So, so this is something that we also provide. And uh, we also provide the seed funding because um, we participate in more and more uh, government programs uh, which allow us to acquire funds and actually share these funds with our startups. And talking about the funding, uh, so we developed right now, this is a preliminary KPI, and this is something that we're going to also test uh, this year. Uh, so those startups who went through our program and reached the KPIs are going to be receiving the funding. And these are the KPIs that we expect them to be to complete in order to receive this funding. And we have the sponsors of the program. We always welcome uh, new sponsors and uh, prizes. For example, uh, we have uh, one of the sponsors is Portis uh, Wallet. This is an excellent product that we uh, selected to uh, be in our MVPs, to, to be present in our workshops, because uh, literally it's just, you know, four lines of code of their API and voila, you will have your own you know, a wallet in your application. So this is that's very, very easy to use. Uh, so we found it very instrumental. And also we have one of our sponsors of this program, Avi. So if you guys, any startups are using Avi protocol uh, in, uh, in, in your um, MVP, uh, then automatically you will be entered the competition for $2,000 that Avi giving this year for the best use of their protocol in the CryptoChicks Hatcher. Uh, in order for actually to, to take the program, we expect from the founders uh, the following commitment. Uh, of course, download and install the tools. Uh, we also want to dedicate them uh, them to dedicate to us about three hours a week. It's not a lot if you compare into the whole life. Three hours a week, um, it's, it's your valuable time, but still to do your startup, it's not a lot of time. Uh, so please uh, schedule so you will be able to dedicate these three hours. Also, we would like them to attend all our workshops and mentoring events. Um, and complete all the assignments. So this is the requirement for getting the funding. Um, and of course, we would like them to be very tuned to their mentors, schedule meeting with them. So founders, this is your responsibility to schedule the meetings uh, with your mentors. 
and we also expect you to support each other. So if you have, uh, we will be getting the sessions when we get together during workshops and we will be sharing the experience and then, you know, learning together. Uh, this is a learning experience for all of us and for you and uh, we, we um, all looking for peer support. And I would like to thank you, our excellent, excellent mentors that we have. Uh, thank you for dedicating your time. And so we also expect from you uh, your time commitment. And we very, very uh, value your time. Thank you for that. And uh, the time commitment, two to three hours a month. Uh, we hope it's not too much in your busy schedule. Uh, and we thank you for that. And uh, without further ado, I would like to go uh, in into the mentors uh, introduction. Uh, mentors, uh, can you please? Uh, I, I will be calling your name one by one, and uh, please please introduce yourself. Uh, please tell us your name, your experience, where are you from, because we are from the different places, all from the different places in the world, uh, and also uh, what you can bring to the Hachi, how you can help our startups, what you think your the strongest points. Um, let me stop sharing my screen. Oh, actually, we, we, we can do it this way. In our website here. All right, so uh, I'm not sure if Scott is here. Scott, if you're here. Yes, I'm here. Excellent, Scott. So Scott is our sponsor actually as well. So he is a director of global partnership in the Shapeshift and he is a happy uh, founder of the Fortis wallet. So Scott, please go ahead. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for taking the time today for this uh, great program you guys have been putting on. So uh, um, as it was said, I am the co-founder of Portis, which was acquired by Shapeshift earlier this year, uh, and I became head of global partnerships for Shapeshift. Um, you know, things that I have expertise in are overall business strategy, um, how to get from, you know, the idea all the way through to the product end and how to get that into the consumer's hands and or if you're looking more for developers using your tool sets into the developer's uh, hands. So I look forward to seeing what type of creativity you come up with in solving uh, different problems from all over the world. And by the way, I'm located here in New York City. Um, and feel free to reach out with any questions and you know, be as blunt as possible with me. Um, you know, I, I like to be as active as I can uh, in helping within your needs. Anyways, thanks so much. I look forward to seeing what comes of this, and I'm always here to help out. Thank you, Scott. All right, uh, Meda, are you here? Yes, I am. Yee. Hi. Hi there. Um, Thanks so much for inviting me to be a mentor for this program. I think this is a wonderful program that you guys have put together. I'm very excited to be here and to work with these wonderful startups to help get them off the ground and improve the percentage, hopefully, of them that can succeed and thrive and turn into wonderful businesses. I'm the uh, CTO and co-founder of Casper Labs. Casper Labs is a layer one blockchain protocol that strives to implement the CBC Casper protocol. Um, my strengths really are around engineering, leadership, engineering management, hiring and building a terrific engineering team, um, taking uh, understanding user problems and turning them into software and features and then helping us uh, so i can help startups go through the customer development life cycle to discover product market fit so that's a little bit about me very happy to be here excellent thank you so much meta and guys uh, wh while you're listening to our mentors i would like to actually to learn from them how concise they are how they can do very short introductions so uh please learn this is a great great skill vince uh vince funk are you here 
<laughs> right. Hey, everyone. It's Vince Fung hey. here. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Debian Xperia IT. So we're an IT managed services provider, and uh, we, we do cybersecurity and IT solutions, uh, delivering services all across Canada to uh, mid-sized and small companies. Um, it was a business I founded about 24 years ago, and I'm based in uh, both Toronto and Calgary. So I'm actually uh, back and forth between both cities. Uh, during COVID, it's a little bit less travel, but uh, during the normal times, I'm, I'm essentially a, a week or two in each city going back and forth. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur for over 30 years. I've had, actually had a pretty diverse background in different businesses. Uh, back in my university days, I started up a few companies, one of which was an automotive electronics business. We did car stereos and car alarms. Uh, I started up an auto parts import business for uh, performance parts for for uh, Japanese and European cars. And I've also owned a dance studio as well. But my main business is in the IT services sector. And i uh, actually really excited to be part of the Hatchery program here because uh, I do actually coach a number of other IT companies as well. And uh, I really enjoy working with other entrepreneurs and helping them succeed. Thank you, Vince. Excellent. And uh, Laszlo, I think Laszlo was one of the first ones to join to this meeting today. Thank you for being such a <laughs> dedicated mentor. Thank you, thank you, Elena. And um, I want to acknowledge um, um, you as well, maintaining the brand uh, identity by uh, matching your outfit with the uh, uh, crypto uh, crypto chicks uh, brand colors. Even even the water bottle, I re realized that it's uh, <laughs> matching exactly. That's great. Um, yeah. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for inviting me for this uh, great opportunity. I really feel honored to. Um, help the the new entrepreneurs and also being among uh, these uh, tremendous um, uh, mentor uh, peers. My name is Laszlo Shandor. I'm an entrepreneur, um, and I'm coming from computer science and the IT services, telecommunication. I went through a whole different lot of uh, uh, industry in the in this space. Uh, in the past couple of years, um, I've been doing entrepreneurship. I consider myself to be an entrepreneur. Uh, currently, I'm running my own uh, startup company in the virtual event services uh, space. Um, and um, ever since I was exposed to blockchain, I'm, I'm a big enthusiast in, in this space. Um, and uh, I'm one of the co-organizer in Toronto, the uh, Hyperledger Toronto uh, Meetup Group. Uh, and beside that, I also do some other engagement in, uh, with regards to uh, blockchains. Um, I'm located in Toronto, so I'm uh, all accessible for uh, entrepreneurs who are located here as well in an in-person meeting in the future. Um, and being both the side of the trade in, in terms of um, uh, working in the, in the, in the um, multinational or corporate world and also being an entrepreneur, I have, um, I think, a wide uh, view of uh, the business. Um, and um, um, what I certainly can help with uh, entrepreneurs is um, coming from my experience with multiple, you know, starting multiple businesses. Some failed, to be very fair, but um, I, I gained amazing experiences from those. And I, I think that's uh, all um, helps to me um, to be su successful currently. So um, I certainly can help with the market validation, product uh, validation, uh, eliminate early failures and um, building an M MVP. So, um, and beyond that, of, of course, uh, all of my experience is uh, available for um, uh, picking on my knowledge. And uh, sorry for the long introduction, but I'm happy to be here and uh, thank you. Thank you, Laszlo. Excellent, yes. I, I like how you mentioned that uh, like we all can go through the series of failures, so let's not uh, discourage you uh, because uh, the failures turn into success if you um persistent. Um, all right, so uh, let's, okay, uh, let's move. Uh, Lucia, uh, Lucia, are you here? I'm not sure if Lucia showed up because she said that she will. I am here, though. Um, I actually awesome. made it back just in time. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. So uh, my name is Lucia Gallardo and I'm a serial entrepreneur and my interest in the tech space has always been about 
um, sort of unifying justice movements and inclusion movements with technology. Um, so to that end, I'm the founder of Emerge. We're a socio-technology solutions development lab, um, and we build products around um, digital identity, around financial inclusion. Um, actually, yesterday, uh, we marked our 6,000 onboarded rural farmer in Uganda, um, connecting them to a blockchain via SMS text messaging. Um, so very much in the realm of last mile, um, adoption, what it takes to really get the technology in use. Um, so we've worked with both private sector and also government and uh, so on and so forth. So if you are looking for support in that those areas and how to get your technology really implemented and and um, delivered, then that's probably an area I can, I can support you with a lot. Uh, in my spare time, I like starting other companies. So I also have a, a community for nascent entrepreneurs in Latin America a nonprofit foundation um, that focuses on uh, education. Um, and then I run Exponential Technologies and also um, the International Expansion Council for Women Entrepreneurs Global, which is a, an innovation studio for female founders. Um, I also run the uh, Impact Technology Strategy at Penta and Unity. And I sit on the board of several organizations related to blockchain, like the Caribbean Blockchain Alliance, um, and also Rainforest Partnership, because rainforests are really important. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really happy to be here. I've been a long time fan of, uh, of crypto chicks with them, you know, from many years ago, and this is a great initiative. I'm really looking forward to the creativity and the projects that are going to come out and just feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or if there's anything you think I could help you with. Thank you so much, Lucia. Yes, Lucia uh, truly was our supporter for a long, long time. And we really, uh, really, really appreciate that. Um, Amber. I hope uh, so. Amber did not show up yet. Okay, so hopefully she will come a little bit later. Uh, let's see uh, who we have next. Uh, Maxim, I'm not sure if Maxim is here. Maxim, yeah, my team is telling that Maxim is not. Uh, what about Sandra? Sandra yeah. is here. Yay! Yes. Hello. Hi, everybody. I'm a business coach and I've worked with a diverse amount of entrepreneurs in the last 10 years. My focus is really from idea to profit and specific in marketing and launching products. And as well, I always work with all my clients in the interplay between business growth and personal growth, because I found in my experience in 10 years that you don't always have a purely business problem. There's a lot of times that there's something on the mental, emotional level that is actually keeping an entrepreneur from you know, getting the results that they deserve and getting to that next level. So as I work with anybody, it's always in that interplay. So I'm available to help you with launch, with marketing, and as well, if you already know that there's a block or there's something happening that you want to break through. So uh, best way to work with me is ask me a ton of questions. I have different resources, but sometimes I need to be prompt with the question to be able to give you the help that you need. Yes, thank you, Sandra. Yes, Sandra has an excellent program herself, and I, I, I am the part of this program as well. She had it all laid, uh, laid down uh, in in the in the weeks and uh, in the, in a kind of uh, all organized on your journey on on doing the business. So yeah, I suggest you to check out her product too. It's very very useful. Um, and Mohammed. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, do you hear me? <laughs> yes, yes. Perfect. So just one introduction. I'm Mohammed Sheruli. I am intelligent system researcher and I'm working currently at research and development expert engineer. So over my experience in 10 years, I worked with many country and I think that I be so much helpful in software and web development, software management, team management, and this kind of things. I had experience in coaching many hackathons and startup with really huge pleasure sharing my humble amount of knowledge that I gathered over the years. So what I say always, every project is or every project is challenge challenge for experience and experience is the key of success thank you mohammed uh, and uh, I, I i missed that uh, you uh, you didn't say where you're located 
Sorry, I am from Algeria. <laughs> there you go, Algeria. You see, we have mentors from all over the place. Yes, yep. thank you, Mohammed. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure Matthew is here. Okay, Matthew. I am. I'm just uh, hiding myself in the background. <laughs> Thanks, Elena. Uh, morning, everybody. Uh, so I work for an organization called London and Partners, but despite my accent and, and the organization, I'm actually based in Toronto. I'm not actually on the island at the moment. I'm actually uh, in the Midtown. Uh, London Partners is the promotional agency for London. And what that means is that we we try and attract investment into London, we promote trade from London, we do business conventions, uh, international tourism and international students. So it's anything to do with, you know, you know, setting up your business in London and and, and uh, going to an event in London or just visiting London. Uh, my background is is international trade and development. That's where my, my skill set really lies. So it's if you're looking to uh, trade overseas or you're looking to invest overseas, uh, that's where I can help. Not only have I done this work in terms of looking at, looking into the UK, I've done uh, actually investment into Toronto as well. I used to work for a, a Toronto-based financial services organisation, so I've actually done trade and investment in both directions. So that's probably my main skill set if you're looking to go international and how do you do it and what, what do you need to think about. But also because I've worked in government, uh, I've got pretty good understanding and contacts within government. So like government relations, stakeholder relations with government is something I could probably help out on as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, Matthew. All right. So who we have next? Eva? Hi. Hi, Eva. Everyone. I actually chose this talk. I hope everybody can see it. Uh, I hope it's fitting. The future is female. So obviously crypto chicks are you know, focusing on women. Um, so let me properly introduce myself. I'm an early stage VC here based in Toronto. I invest in st uh, startups that have very strong network effects or planning to use network effects as the uh, defensibility. And, uh, and basically that's my magic power. Why? Because before I became an investor, I helped my husband to build his company he is the CEO and co-founder of Wattpad, a global entertainment company. Right now, have over 80 million monthly users on their platform, sharing fictional stories from sci-fi, romance, teen fic, chapter by chapter, very much like people share videos on YouTube or pictures on Instagram. So I help them grow their user base from tens of thousands of users to tens of millions. And now they have over half a billion of stories already on the platform. And um, they are using machine learning and AI to figure out what's up and coming and turn them into movie shows and TVs and books. So what I'm trying to say is I have hands-on experience, not only uh, at Wattpad, but also in my you know, multiple operating roles in other companies pro you know, in the last uh, two decades, uh, working in software companies and hardware companies. But my focus and magic power is to really understand the intrinsic need of what the customer actually are looking for and help entrepreneurs to figure out how they can leverage that in, in, intrinsic need and turn that into a very strong network effect based product. Um, at the end of the day, nobody wants to burn marketing money to grow the user base. The best thing is to actually let the users create that ginormous network for you. So that's what I do. Thank you, Eva. This is so impressive. I hope you can also help us to scale to tens of millions of users. Thank awesome. you. <laughs> um, Edgy. Hello. Hello, Elena. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Edgy. Edgy Bagin from Istanbul, Turkey. And I, I'm a YouTuber. I'm making daily videos to, in YouTube for a Turkish audience, cryptocurrency investors. And I am founder of it Istanbul. I am making blockchain educational meetups in Boston University in Istanbul with help of Ethereum Foundation and Maker. Also, I am working with Carver Network and MakerDAO for enlarge the community here and in Middle East. And that's all I think. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, AG. I was impressed with AG's work because she she uh, self-built entrepreneur and she built her user base herself from the scratch. And then actually, she didn't even put her name forward there, right? So because uh, nobody knew your name until just recently, right, AG? 
Very yeah, nice. so, you, so you just revealed it uh, yeah, recently, so uh, very, very impressive. Thank you, Edgy, and I hope you can help our um, uh, startups also to, you know, to scale and to gain the user base like you did. Thank you so much. Patrick. Hello, hello. Thanks for having me, everybody. Um, yeah, so I'm a software engineer and developer advocate at, at Chainlink Lab, so I work on the, the Chainlink project, which uh, for those of you unfamiliar, it's, uh, it's like the this, this standard decentralized Oracle service for getting data off chain on chain. Uh, I also actually have my own startup too, but uh, it's not getting the, the time and, and attention it deserves. So uh, for me, most of my help here is going to be tools and data, right? So I'm, I'm an engineer. Uh, I work a lot with code. I work a lot with engineers um, and helping engineers figure out, okay, what tool do I need to use? What's, what's the best thing? For me to do here is is really where I'm going to uh, going to come in and be able to lend a lot of value. So anything about um, you know what what kind of Oracle or or what where can I get this data, or that's the type of thing that I'm going to be help uh, able to help with. I also worked uh, at a hedge fund for a couple of years, so knowing where to get high quality data, um, how to clean data and work with data, that's also going to be pieces of my strong suit as well. So though for me, that's really going to be uh, the two big pieces. It's going to be tooling for your projects, for building your projects, and it's also be data. Where do I get this data? How do I get this data? How can I integrate this this data? And maybe there's um, there's questions that you might even have that you're not sure that there's a tool out there for. You know, that's where we can have that conversation and go into some of the architecture of building your tools out. So, uh, really happy to be here. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, in the states, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to help out. Thank you, Patrick. And we. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me fine? Yes. Awesome. Hey, um, my name is Hui. Um, I'm actually the founder of the Spark One Network. I, I think the, the right now this website hasn't been updated, <laughs> maybe the old one. Um, so Spark One Network is actually a social mobile platform, which is empower people, self-directed individuals and team to light up sparks and then team up on creations. So we actually think about this uh, uh, zero to one journey a lot, which is perfect for all of the teams here, you know, in Hacktree. Um, I think that uh, our philosophy here is no matter you are building the, uh, you know, product oriented you know, solution or maybe like service oriented solution. The idea here is keep thinking about your customers and then keep thinking about what kinds of experiments you really wanted to develop. So there's a lot of experiments you really have to think through. And then my expertise is actually have a 20 years of the engineering and all the way to the leadership. Uh, but my passion here is really trying to say how we can actually find the right angles and actually uh, 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 adapt and, and, and apply that very quickly. So I'm happy to hear all of the teams, you know, uh, what they're thinking here. And it's not a matter about finding the perfect solution or perfect idea. It's really trying to connect with business, connect with the solution you're helping people, and then actually test, test the water, right? Just go there and then engage with your ideal customers, having conversations, and really to build the momentum around your solution. So I'm happy to help everyone here and then uh, also uh, connect with other mentors and then uh, crypto chicks, you know, ecosystem. Thank you so much, Hui. And uh, Jonathan. Hi guys, uh, my name is Jonathan Irwin. Uh, I'm a software engineer, computer science degree, as well as the hardware side of things. So um, electronics engineering, computer control. Uh, I'm a geek at heart. Um, my specialty is government funding. Um, but I'm also I can also help in the direction of of uh, platforms and frameworks and things like that. Um, I've uh, I, this is my second year being a mentor as well as I, I think some of you as well. Um, super happy to be a part of this and and help out. Um, I love uh, I'm always I, I like to make myself as available as possible. Um, so whoever I'm matched up with, please feel free. Always reach out to me. Uh, ask me as many questions as you want. I can put you in contact with with certain people if you need help. Uh, different things like that. Uh, I've been in the the startup world um, and the SME world for well. I've been doing this for almost twelve years now. So um, very happy to be a part of this again for the second year. And uh, 
super happy to meet uh, the founders. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. John was very uh, instrumental for us gaining some uh, government funding. So thank you for that, John. Um, Lance. Elena, thanks for, for having me and nice to meet everyone. I, uh, although I have a, a big apple from behind me here, I'm not uh, from New York like Scott, but um, I'm based in Vancouver, British Columbia. And uh, I'm the co-founder of Blockchain Intelligence Group. We're a data analytics company providing um, AML detection tools to law enforcement and the financial industry to track crypto, to be able to vet wallets and know if the funds have been involved in nefarious activity. We also do training, we have forensics. Uh, we were just, for instance, first report on the Twitter hack. Um, and uh, a serial entrepreneur, uh, started my first business two weeks after high school, uh, <clears throat> manufacturing signs. From there, I went to um, Vancouver Film School and got into multimedia. I started one of the first web development companies here in Vancouver. Uh, along that journey, I, I was also the first uh, business to consumer ISP, <clears throat> excuse me, fiber optically connected here in Canada, down in the US and uh, um, landed a million and a half dollar contract in my web development company. Uh, after that um, uh, contract uh, concluded, I then partnered with one of my clients, grew that business from 16 to 120 people. Uh, we were one of the largest traders uh, during the dot-com days. Uh, we did survive, but we're stretched thin. We um, created 11 wholly owned sub uh, companies and um, started to generate profit within three to six months in those. Nah, most of them didn't survive, a few did, um, and uh, subsequent to that, I've uh, been in tech predominantly, uh, screens and taxi cabs, to a uh, salmon burger company with an organic home delivery business, to um, vending software in the healthy vending industry. I have a lot of scars, um, quite a few failures, and uh, but some good successes and some, some out of the park successes. Um, happy to be here, happy to help. Uh, and uh, look forward to assisting anyone that uh, might need it. Thank you, Lance. What a list. Wow. Um, okay, so Carla, are you Car Car Carla here? Okay, uh, Carla, you might be on mute. You can unmute yourself. Because we see Carla is on the meeting. I'm not sure what, um, uh, maybe Carla, we will just come to you a little bit later because we would like to hear uh, from you. Uh, Nelia. Uh, hi, uh, my name's Nelia. I'm a, I'm a designer, um, a legal strategist, uh, and I'm really passionate and an educator, and I'm really passionate about nurturing um, and sharing knowledge. So I am a I'm a, a lawyer by training. I'm a professor of law and regulation at George Brown College in the blockchain development program. I'm also um, the founder of Legal by Design, which is a, a design and uh, uh, a design and legal consultancy. And uh, I'm also a founder of a, of a, a legal tech startup, which is um, an online wills and estates planning platform. Um, I, I can help out with uh, sort of helping anyone navigate the, the changing uh, regulatory landscape um, as things are changing quite a bit. Um, and um, what I and I'm an academic at heart. I'm currently doing some graduate studies on the side, uh, looking at. Um, strategic foresight and blockchain technology and very long-term uh, time horizons. So that's my area of research, I'm a big nerd. Um, so if, um, if anyone, if that, if that sounds interesting to you or if you think that you can, uh, you can benefit from any of that sort of stuff, please reach out, thanks. Thank you, Nelia. Uh, Tracy. Hey guys, my name is Tracy LaFarullo. Uh, I've been part of Crypto Chicks team for quite some time, and I'm the CEO of a, a company called Untraceable. We're not a privacy coin. We do a lot of marketing events in the cryptocurrency space. Um, so the way things I can really help with is a lot of marketing, lead gen, design, community building. Helped a lot of companies with their pitch and their presentation, um, as well as a bit on fundraising and growth. Uh, some of the companies I've worked or advised with is. Um, is security tokens, so CMO Polymath. So if you do any projects around security tokens, I can help a lot with that and fundraising. Uh, loyalty and rewards, 
Uh, I've done quite a bit within the wallets, uh, early on building wallets, as well as supply chain, the food industry. So if any of those kind of ring a bell, feel free to reach out, uh, but really focusing on more of the marketing, the pitch presentation, and the community building. Awesome. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, Jagdish. Jagdish is not here yet. Uh, I know Amber. Amber is here. Uh, Amber. Okay, um, Amber, I've tried to unmute yourself because I, we we see you here, but I'm not sure if you can can talk or cannot talk. All right, so maybe we will come back uh, to Amber just a bit later. Uh, so did I miss anyone? Like, is a, any mentors that are here that uh, wasn't here before when I called your name? Feel free to uh, take the stage. Carla. Okay, Carla, I can see uh, Carla. Can you hear? Can you speak? Hello? Yes. Hello? Perfect. Okay. Yes. Having some technical difficulties. <laughs> awesome that you resolved it. Okay, so Carla. Yeah, uh, yeah so please tell us a, a, a bit about yourself. Yes, absolutely. So uh, first of all, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be part of this for the second year in a row and hopefully for um, much more in the future. So I do a few things. Um, I launched my company um, back in 2018, right after, um, before graduating from university. Um, it's called Claret. It's in the jewelry space, but we were trying to incorporate tech so that we can reach a larger audience online. Um, so everything from operations to marketing and, you know, business development overall um, I did that so if I can help in that department uh, feel free to reach out um, at any time the other thing that I do is that I have been working with brands uh, since 20 11 as an influencer. So I've worked with brands like um, Versace, Converse, uh, Neutrogena Canada, and then a few other companies in the States. Um, so anything that comes to reaching an audience and uh, clients, I can help out with that. Um, and uh, lastly, I'm based in Toronto, uh, but feel free to reach out um, at any time, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I do. Thank you so much. Uh, no thank you. Thank you, Carla. And Amber, I heard that you back and hope that technical difficulties got resolved too for you. Perfect. Um, can you hear me? Awesome. Yes. Okay, excellent. Um, I was chattering away before and, uh, and apparently <laughs> muted. Um, so my name is Amber Scott. I'm the founder, CEO, and chief AML ninja at Outlier. We are a compliance consulting firm, uh, which means that in essence, we try to keep our clients out of trouble. Um, in terms of the questions that you can ask me, if uh, you're doing anything in finance, ask me about anti-money laundering. Um, if you're dealing with people's information, ask me about privacy. Um, I'm happy to help with that. I am also a founder who bootstrapped my company. So if you have questions about, oh my gosh, what can I do without funding and how do I build a team and ah, where does the money come from? Um, hit me up with those as well. I'm always happy to have those conversations. Awesome. Thank you, Amber. Uh, I think we went through all mentors for uh, for today, the one that, that joined us. And we are going to move into the second, not, not into the second, into the next part is startup introduction. So startup, uh, our founders, I know that you prepared uh, just a little bit of this speech. Please, please keep it short because we are uh, running out of time. Uh, Please uh, tell us your name, experience, where you're from, your startup idea, please, in one sentence, and also what help you need, you think you need. Uh, please keep it short, and uh, we will start from Abstracta. Hi, can you hear me okay? Yes. Yeah, um, <clears throat> sorry. Hi, this is Tanya uh, from Abstracta. Best is here as well. Uh, so real quick, a little bit about us. Um, we are working on a um, uh, essentially like a, a data sharing tool for um, academics um, to share their pre-publication uh, um, pre research. Uh, a little bit about us. 
Uh, Vesta is a um, finished her master's in microbiology and uh, works in the startup space in Montreal. And I did my uh, master's in strategic foresight and innovation and have a background in entrepreneurship as well. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, give on life. Hi, uh, my name is Christiana Viva. I am a digital strategist, go to market strategy, mostly in Asia and LATAM. And we are uh, building Give On Live, which is the home of live stream. And our mission is to create immersive experiences and to empower creators around the world. We, um, we're currently building on Go, Hyperledger, Sawtooth, and Flutter. Uh, we just, we guess mainly finance, uh, finance, legal, and some, some tech um, situations is what we're looking for help with. Awesome. Thank you. And where you located? I think you, you didn't, you didn't tell us. Yeah, I, I'm wherever I need to be, but I'm currently in the United Kingdom. Great. I'm usually in Puerto Rico, but from island to uh, island is my style. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Christiana. Thank you. Uh, custom speed. Oh, I hope Jennifer joined us uh, because she said that she might be later. So uh, maybe she she did not show up yet. Hey, Elena, Jennifer, I'm... you're here. You're here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Awesome. I was just muted. Sorry about that. Um, I'm Jennifer and I'm from Syracuse, New York, and uh, we're building Custom Speed, which we hope to be a platform to help uh, a platform to help uh, reduce customs delays at the border. We're trying to connect us. Uh, we're trying to reward uh, customs brokers um, for prompt communication um, with uh, with uh, with businesses that uh, need um, need to ship something across the border. I think really kind of the biggest thing that we would really need help us is really understanding: is this really what we want to build long term? Uh, we have been working on this for a year, and we just don't feel like there's a lot of track like on our side so it just feels like no where do we pivot um how do we pivot and that that really is going to really excite us uh so that's what i would help most with so thank you guys thank you jennifer and i know that jennifer builds more than one business so yeah so she is a serial entrepreneur as well uh charity on blocks lakshmi is lakshmi here Yep. Hi. Can you awesome. hear me? Yes. Cool. So my name is Lakshmi Badri. Um, I am the founder for a charity on blocks. I am located in Toronto. Um, the charity on blocks is an IT service for small NGOs uh, to bring transparency and increase donor goodwill. Um, I'm trying to build a network of uh, small NGOs and uh, uh, social committee. That's my goal. Um, so I, my experience is I've been working as an IT consultant, BA and project manager. Um, I've worked with various domains like e-learning or e-government and sports environment, building IT solutions for them. So that's about me. Thank you. Thank you, Lakshmi. And then we used Charity on Blocks uh, project with Lakshmi to pilot the, uh, the blockchain MVP that right now we are exploring and will be scaling to our whole hat tree. Uh, Hail Identity. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, hi Sina. Hi everyone, my name is Sina, Sina Nazari, uh, based in Toronto. I'm an MBA and a bit of a blockchain geek uh, and a former founder of a crypto payments company that didn't work out. Um, so about Halo Identity, Halo Identity is a, a protocol based transaction for transaction, know your customer KYC, anti-money laundering, AML checks, uh, just to make sure all on-chain cryptocurrency transactions also uh, comply with global financial regulations. And um, it's a very early stage startup with an idea and a bit of a technical uh, description of what's, what's needed, but uh, we need uh, help with making sure we're, we know our compliance very well, international relations, uh, product development, and product market fit. Thanks. Thank you, Sina. And uh, work first, 360.
Hi everyone, my name is Nancy Dayo. I am based in Nairobi, Kenya. My idea is to develop a recruitment platform on blockchain. I feel that this is important because recruitment is very, very expensive. And there's a lot of fraud that goes, uh, that comes along when, you're when, when we are recruiting. So the system, uh, the platform would reduce hiring cost. Uh, it would increase speed and increase transparency. I'm a HR practitioner. I've worked for uh, corporate organizations, NGOs, as well as startups. I've been consulting on the side for a while, so I'm planning to transition fully into the, uh, into the entrepreneurial space. Um, the help that I need, one, is funding and bringing this idea to reality. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, Forever Chain, Lee May. Hello, everyone. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Excellent. Uh, my name is Lee May Nicolatos. My company name is Forward Chain. I live in Aurora, Ontario. I'm looking for businesses who will pay to see their product verified on blockchain in the, su in the supply chain. Uh, I have a sales background, but any help I can get in taking business leads and running with it, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Thank you, Lime. And uh, last but not least, coaching and emotional support platform. Hi. My name is Lucy and I'm happy to be here. Uh, coaching and emotional support platform is um, ideally a mental health uh, support system online. And uh, we have a goal to try to be able to reach as many people anywhere, anytime with uh, mental or psychological support. And so uh, this platform idea is to create kind of uh, a one-stop platform where we can get uh, different services. People can get uh, peer support on the platform. People can connect to uh, volunteer listeners for free support during crisis and as well people can be able to connect to coaches and therapists. So I'm looking forward to working on this great idea that I've been having for some time now and to see it come to a reality. I am a psychologist and I am based in Germany. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lucy. And uh, yeah, I made a mistake. It's not last. So we have also behind the art, Casey. Hi, Elena. Thank you. My name is Casey Kesterson, and I'm an art historian with over 25 years of experience in the art world. I specialize in provenance research, and I provide this for collectors and museums, auction houses, and dealers and lawyers. And in 2009, I founded a company that, special, that is dedicated to this uh, called Provenance Research Associates. My project is Behind the Art, which will be a platform that will combine blockchain and artificial intelligence with, the art, with art world knowledge that provides a speedier, less costly method to conduct thorough research. I basically need all kind of help. I've put together a white paper uh, and a pitch deck. The pitch deck is available on uh, the project uh, page in Teams. Um, so that'll tell you a little bit more. Um, I'm looking to uh, do this on Hyperledger and with Watson for the artificial intelligence. Thank you. Thank you so much, Casey. Uh, and I think I didn't miss anyone because uh, what we have uh, this year, we have startups joining us as we go. So the startups that you see right now, they're not the only ones that will be in our program. So we will be joining them dynamically. So I know that there is lots of uh, people from the general audience right now. They're joining us from the meetups, from the Eventbrite, uh, from different countries. Uh, Please, if you're interested in joining, uh, please use our website and apply and we will get back to you and uh, hopefully you can join our CryptoChicks Hot Tree as well and use all our excellent program and our excellent mentors. All right, and next in our program, and this is where I, I would like to say goodbye to our general audience, and I would like uh, our mentors and only the founders to stick in, in, in this event uh, is the cross-mentoring scheduling session.